We have a Starbucks behind us and I am all mm, chocolate marshmallow colors because guess what? They have a new frappuccino that I totally missed on letting you guys know about and what is even worse is that that frappuccino is like the most favorite frappuccino of all times of all Starbucks customers. Da, it's this one, caramel s'more. I saw people begging Starbucks to please, please, please release this one again because everybody loves it. So now we can see what's inside. Apparently there is caramel and then chocolate pieces and freeze-dried marshmallows. So I had to Google what marshmallows are made of because usually I avoid them thinking it's some chemical stupid poisonous thing that gets your children become fat and stuff. And yes, I had marshmallows in my life but I didn't know that actually the Egyptians the Egyptians 2,000 years before Jesus Christ was the talk. So 2,000 years before that, the Egyptians were already enjoying the mellow plant that grows in marshes. So that's why it's a marshmallow. And usually I would really not recommend marshmallows and even if the Egyptians were eating them 2,000 years before Christ, which makes them like more than 4,000 years. Oh, this is it. We're gonna have it. No, made for me. No. So that's my s'more, I think. Because she used these two pumps here. These two. Oh, and see, she prepares the evil mixture of dry freeze uh, marshmallows and handmade chocolate or something like that. Yo. And okay, we gotta get a spoon for this because now we know. This one? stuff on top chocolate ooh. marshmallows ooh. cookies ooh. oh my god and I even forgot to get a spoon however Starbucks is really lucky that I'm so hungry this time so whatever this thing is I will feel like it's good just because I'm star and look at it behind us so we are triple here so let's finally try it out of it as you saw she put a lot of this crispy stuff so the bottom has a lot of marshmallows and um, chocolate that you have to eat at them and yeah like I said I don't really like that part um, and then we have another batch on top so I suppose we should take a spoon and dissect this from above Ta -da! Okay, the lighting it light is not so nice. It's a bit too yellowish. And let's see. Okay, it's a little bit melted. Yes, it does have my favorite whipped cream at the top. And um, chocolate syrup, if we can call it like that. And then in between this stuff and the bottom stuff, that is again marshmallows and chocolate it's a full mass of I don't know what let's name it milk milk ice cream cheap milk ice cream with some caramel flavor so let me actually okay one thing I just understood right now why I like so much this whipped cream on top of the frappuccinos is because this milk ice cream has no taste, no flavor, it's so like water that it's kind of so frustrating to eat this part that when you get to something more rich like whipped cream it feels like oh yeah finally something delicious and so for example if this ice cream would at least be like you know 
coffee if it would contain coffee if it would be like a cafe latte ice cream it would have more flavor and value like production value but because it's just like frozen milk water is the part of the rip-off and why I am blaming Starbucks meanwhile look their stock price is rocketing so that's how they make that money with this uh, cheap milk water ice cream that fills the biggest part of your frappuccino mission accomplished I managed to drink all this thing but remember I was starving and that's the only reason also I'm never gonna have this again so also I better finish it try to finish it all since I paid the bloody six dollars for it <laughs> okay I'm kidding um, what I didn't like is the fact that the caramel has some strange perfume to it that is non-caramel like caramel is basically just burnt sugar like literally sugar in the fry pan and heat and that will lead to caramel but this one had a third party flavor that is so unnatural so just Starbucks just put that simple damn caramel inside okay don't add flavors I don't know what it was not vanilla something that ruined it also the chocolate they use had a cheap taste um, I don't love chocolate but I can really tell which one is good based on I don't know the chocolate also had like a third party flavor in it <laughs> that should not be there if you use like good quality chocolate so verdict is I would not buy this again but since it's the first time when it yeah. is in Japan um, we were there and tried that we are in a Starbucks that's usually very crowded because it's by the Shinjuku station and now you can see what foods they have still see they are still in the peach mode so that's more I think is something um, out out of the normal have a speedy look at their goods so there is a lot of simple stuff like this just black on black and not so expensive $19 and then this instant type of cups and more logo stuff plus the summer well they still have a lot of summer stuff the Japan one so this was it and now let me show you the beautiful view actually this steel gray sky with a menacing rain cloud that is part of the not volcano tsunami <laughs> not tsunami typhoon makes everything look dynamic and dramatic and so I can show you this huge train station which is like the second largest in all Japan and has all the fancy stuff and skyscrapers and there is the so-called photo spot no idea why but she is there the mermaid and yes they are constructing so it looks crappy so with the Shinjuku Times Square behind me and the huge train station rattling with trains and train announcements I'm declaring the Frappuccino mission mission accomplished and by the way so this dress was just made for this purpose and uh, it's supposed to symbolize the caramel and chocolate and marshmallows so yes marshmallows okay and so i will not buy that drink again because it was tasting way too unnatural
that I tried it because it was I read on the net and it's like the forever most favorite American frappuccino the s'more so I'm happy to have finally tried it in my beautiful city that is the most amazing city in the world and I'm so happy to be here and yeah so that was it never again because to repeat the milk is just milk ice cream too cheap in my opinion the chocolate tastes fake the marshmallows were freeze-dried so no much taste there and uh, the caramel had the third party flavor in it that was again unnatural so but been there done that and now we are gone with the wind 